How to create a proposal. It's fairly easy, but first you have to register on the website. How do citizen proposals work? Well, it's fairly simple and in four steps. Support. People click on the button to support your proposal. You need a certain amount of supports to move on to the next phase. Here you can see I'm the author of this proposal and I already have six supports. To make your proposal more engaging, you can add photos and embed video. If you find it interesting, you can follow certain proposals or join the proposal's online community. You can see there's also a bit of text that explains what the proposal is about. I could also download the PDF document. This proposal also has tags here to find topics of interest. If a proposal is approved, the organisation will then take it forward. If the proposal is of a subject that the organisation could not support, for example, if it goes against strategic objectives within their local plan, then they will do everything in their power to ensure that it is carried out. This could mean supporting people to improve their proposals for next year. Click this blue button to create a proposal. There will be an online form that asks you to fill in a title, question and summary. Just ignore what I type, but you can be as creative as you like, as long as it is relevant and appropriate to the criteria set. You can also use your existing ideas and upload them here. On the right, there are recommendations. It's a reminder not to use capital letters, as this can appear like shouting. A reminder to be respectful and lawful and to embrace any comments that fill this space. It's an area for online collaboration, deliberation and idea sharing just typing random text. But you can see there's an area for your whole proposal in a shorter summary. Having a summary is great because it's easier to read and you can also tweet it and use it for social media. You want this bit to grab people's attention. Then you can write your main chunk of text. You can change the writing size and style. An important thing to remember is, can everyone read this? Is it easy to understand? How can I make it more inclusive? Ask yourself a few questions and then get someone to read it to make sure it makes sense. You can add images and extra documents, then you can pick which area, if applicable, on the map. You can then tag it under various categories. This means people will find it a lot easier. You can click on ready-made tags by just hitting these buttons and then it will pop up below. To publish it, you need to accept the privacy policy and then hit create proposal. If any field in the form is filled incorrectly, you'll see that those fields marked in red and indicate the error made in them. So in this case, I've just not put in a map, so I'm just going to click to make sure that doesn't pop up. My proposal should now go up. It's done. If there are more people in favour of your proposal than against it, and it meets the criteria set by the organisation, then your proposal could go through to a vote or be carried through completely. The great thing about once it's up and live, you can still edit it if you've forgotten to add something like a piece of text or video. You just need to hit this edit button. You can also send notifications to users to try and gain support. As you can see, I need a thousand supports to go through. People may choose to follow your proposal if they find it interesting, which is where you can also build up a community of followers here. Users might decide to comment on your proposal. You will receive notifications if this happens. There's also the milestone section. We haven't put any in, but this is a great feature to show everyone any achievements and where your project is at. Just going back to the main proposal site. You can see my project isn't the most active or probably highest rated, but is the newest. And here it is.